What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today I have a video for you on this keyboard key switch tester. And the reason I'm doing this is because in a lot of my keyboard reviews, often the most popular question is, what's the difference between this switch and this switch? Or which switch is best for gaming? And there are tons of different switches on the market, so it can definitely be confusing if you don't know the differences. So the main purpose of this video is to, to uh, go over each switch here, talk about how you know they perform, the specs, and go over how they sound. So get ready for a lot of sound tests here. And it's gonna give you a better idea of which switch is gonna be best for you because it can be very confusing. We have 17 in particular on this board um, from Cherry, Kale, Gateron, Green Tech, and a bonus one from Razer here. We're gonna go over each one to give you a better idea of which one is gonna be best for you. Now just keep in mind, these are all mechanical switches and there are you know rubber dome out there, uh, Zelios, Topra, Membrane, Mecha Membrane, tons of different ones. But these are the most popular mechanical switches and odds are if you're investing your money and you're buying a new keyboard, you're gonna want them to have mechanical switches. So this video, we're gonna go over all these to give you a better idea of the differences of the different mechanical switches out there. So for starters, we're gonna begin with the row of Cherry switches right here. That's because the MX Cherry switches are most popular and they're the most genuine switches you would want. We're gonna start with the blue switch, which is known for being very clicky and loud. It requires 60 grams of force. It needs to travel four millimeters before it bottoms out. And it requires two millimeters to actuate as a key press. Here's how they sound. Next is gonna be reds, and these are probably the most popular version of cherry switches. They are known for being linear. They require 45 grams of force, and uh, they are relatively quiet, probably one of the most quiet on the market, I'd say. Next we have browns and these are tactile. Just like the reds, they also require 45 grams of force and they are relatively quiet as well. I'd say the brown switches are a solid in between of the red and blues. So if you kind of like the clickiness of the blues and the, the feel and the quietness of reds, the brown is a great in between spot. And then we have the cherry black. These are very linear as well, but they require 60 grams of force like the blues. So they're a little bit of a heavier switch. And unlike the blues being loud, the blacks are relatively quiet. Now we're gonna move on to the kale switches and kales are an exact Chinese clone or a knockoff of cherry. They're built the exact same way just with a cheaper Chinese material. So the same thing uh, for the blues, they are clicky, they require 60 grams of force and they're also loud. And again, same thing going across the board here. The travel distance is four millimeters for it bottoms out and it's two millimeters before it actuates as a key press. And for the rest of these examples, I'm going to just show a graphic for what I'm talking about. I'm not going to explain each one because it's going to get very redundant. The next category is going to be Gateron switches. And I see these pretty often. I would say they're a little bit better quality than the Kales, but still not up to the level of the, uh, the build quality of the Cherry switches.
In the second to last row, here we have these green tech switches. I've honestly never heard of them before, and I'm not going to really go over the specifications of each one, but best I can describe these as an extremely cheap knockoff of everything. I'm just gonna do a sound test real quick. You can hear how they sound, uh, but they just feel so much more hollow and cheap. It's just the best way to describe it. It's gonna have the same characteristics as the other switches, but you can just tell just by typing on them that they are a much cheaper quality. And then lastly, up top, these two are different. This one right here, the clear one, is a Gateron Clear. I included this because clear is not relatively common. It's not one of the ones you're going to see um, a lot. But the Gateron Clear is my all-time favorite switch. It is linear, and it only requires 35 grams of force. So while it's linear and quiet, it is a very soft key. And the last switch here is going to be the Razer Green switches. You're going to find these in pretty much every mechanical gaming keyboard that Razer puts out. Uh, this one here is a little bit heavier. It requires 55 grams of force. It's a clicky switch as well. They're very similar and compared to blues. Uh, but instead of actuating at 2 millimeters, it actuates at 1.9 millimeters. So just a little bit uh, shorter to register as a key press. So again, very similar to blues. I'll just do a comparison real quick so you could hear the difference. Both very clicky and very loud. And then lastly, just to wrap this one up, I'm going to do um, the same color for all four of these here so you can hear the difference between the Cherry, Kale, Gateron, and that random green tech. And then lastly, just again, the Gateron and the Razor. Now comparing the four different ones, um, it's, it's no doubt just by typing, Cherry feels the most genuine and solid. From there, I prefer the Gaterons as they feel the most similar. Kales, even though it's pretty much the same quality, they feel just like a lighter switch. You can tell that the materials they make are not nearly as good. The best way I can describe it as is that it's more hollow, if that makes sense. And then the green text, they were not only the loudest because of the material they used, but they were just the cheapest feeling. So I hope that kind of gave you an idea of the differences there. So did this video help you out in the end and give you a better idea of the different switches? I hope it did, that was the main purpose of this whole thing. But like I said earlier, keep in mind there are probably close to hundreds of different switches out there. Um, just in the cherry category, there's you know red, blue, brown, green, black, clear, dark gray, light gray, there's so many. And that's just for cherry, not including you know Alpha Zulu, Topra, Zelios, uh, you know, Membrane, Mecha Membrane, Romer G. There are so many out there, which is why it's confusing. But I think in the end for me, like I said before, my all-time personal fave is those Gateron Clears. They're just so smooth to type on, and they're my personal favorite. But if you're looking for something just for gaming, you're going to have to decide what you want and what you're looking for in your switches. If you Google it, you're not going to find a definitive answer, because it is just so subjective. 
to what you like, you know? So it's so hard to really, you know, put a pinpoint answer on which one is best for gaming. But I think, you know, judging by the market out there and the most popular stocks, which in a gaming keyboard, you're gonna find the fan favorites are either going to be um, reds for that nice linear switch, or some people really like the blues for that clickiness. So in the end, I hope this video helped you out in deciding the difference between the different switches out there and helping you find a new mechanical switch that you either like or you're going to want to look for if you're buying a new building, if you're buying a new keyboard or if you're gonna be building a new gaming keyboard. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna pick one of these up, I'll put the link in the description down below. Not only are they useful for testing on different switches, but you can buy a PCB, program it to be like its own dedicated numpad, which is pretty cool. They range between like 25 to like, I don't know, 10 to $25, I'd say. You can find them on Amazon. I'll put it down below. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.